I'm here with Rod Major from Wells Funeral Services looking into the life and the week of a funeral director. Rod, how's your week been? Well, yesterday was quite a busy day. We had uh, two funerals, so up at the crack of dawn, well, six o'clock actually, um, out at the door for seven, um, picked up my colleague up to the unit um, to uh, uh, get our private ambulance ready for delivery at the crematorium for eight. Um, over to the crematorium, uh, delivered this uh, 99 and a half year old gentleman to the crematorium at eight o'clock. Um, and uh, he'll be cremated by quarter past eight and we were then away um, preparing for the next funeral and the next funeral was 1.30 at the same crematorium um, this time we had a hearse um, beautiful willow coffin you know they are a work of art they really are it's just a shame that they've got to be cremated but there you are um, and uh, yes yeah, so that we met the family at, uh, at our unit for midday um, and they had a special request to drive past where the mother used to live, um, which isn't far from Hunter's Lodge, the, the pub, you know, pretty. So uh, all the way down the old Bristol Road, you can imagine that as a challenge in a hearse. Um, my men were off to the crematorium, myself um, and the driver were down the Bristol Road uh, with the family in tow, um, through the centre of Wells, nice and slowly, and then over to the crematorium. Um, uh, an interesting uh, funeral. We had the family gathering and um, the daughters were a bit concerned that the estranged brother might cause a little bit of trouble. I had to inform the family that I am not a bouncer, I am a funeral director. <laughs> but um, we calmed it all down, everybody was more than happy. Um, and then we, we, we had the normal sort of procession into the chapel and uh, normal normal service and um, away at the end and everybody was more than happy so that was my day yesterday and then I finished up uh, by coming to see you actually didn't I? Yeah. The nature of funerals has changed you described two cremations and I understand that over 70 percent of uh, disposals if you like uh, are cremations the others being burials what are the advantages or disadvantages? Um, the advantage uh, is f financial, because it's a hell of a lot um, more cost effective, cheaper if you like, um, to do a direct to, to, to crematorium. And that's where there's nobody no, no, no one's No service. No service, uh, no one in attendance, and, and that one can fall anything between uh, 1200 and 1500 pounds so you can see the attraction there um, and that includes all fees there is no extra fees none at all whereas um, the second funeral that I described was in excess of 4000 pounds um, and that included the flowers the order of service um, the celebrant in fact everything other than the wake and of course at the moment there are no wakes mm. Um, because venues are a bit, a bit scarce to come by and also social distancing can be a challenge in small venues. So obviously there's lots of things that can influence the cost of a funeral. So when we hear of funerals costing in excess of £9,000, it's possibly because of what? Well, I think when you look at the, the second funeral I did yesterday, you know, the, we're talking about a willow coffin that cost nearly £1,000. We're talking about the crematorium fees that are costing nearly a thousand pounds. So there's two thousand pounds straight away. Then you're talking about the funeral director's fees, which are about a thousand pounds. So there lies in three thousand pounds. The other bits and pieces are in the other thousand pounds. You know, so flowers, celebrant, um, you know, men, hearse. You know, all these things cost. You know. Um, so, it, it, you know, I, I like to think that we deliver a cost-effective um, celebration of someone's life or a funeral. Um, and uh, it's important that we carry on with that, uh, our mission statement, delivering affordable funerals to the people of Somerset and beyond. Good, good. You told me that on Monday was a particularly busy day. What was, what was happening on Monday? Monday was uh, appointment day for um, uh, 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 five, six people that uh, decided they wanted a funeral plan. Um, so I was, I was quite busy 
out there uh, talking to different people about different funeral plans. Some uh, were particular about the funeral plan, they, they, the funeral plan company they wanted to be with and had researched it entirely. So that particular couple uh, had been six months in the coming. Um, but eventually they, they had decided and I completed all the paperwork and they were very insistent upon exactly what they wanted, which we recorded. And so that was two, that I, two funeral plans there, a husband and a wife. Um, and then um, I went not very far from them into street, another couple of funeral plans there, um, different funeral plan company and completely a different funeral. Again, a bit like the one I described earlier, this one was going to be a more direct to crematorium. So much more cost effective and so a different funeral plan company required there. And then finally, um, uh, an insurance based funeral plan. In fact, I've got one myself. And so uh, that consequently resulted in uh, a very small deposit, £25, and uh, a monthly um, fee of, I think, somewhere around £30 a month. Um, the only difference there is, as I said to the gentleman, got to live for a year. Because this particular plan, um, if you die within the first 12 months, they refund you all your payments plus 20%. That's not bad, is it? It's a good return on investment. Good, retur <laughs> good return on investment. You don't want to die for it, though, do you? Because no, no. you're never going to get it. Um, but once you've lived for the 12 months, so in month 13, they won't just pay your money back. They'll pay the whole funeral. Now, that appeals to a lot of people because, in effect, if you worked out the cost of the funeral and the, and the amount you're paying in, it takes about seven to ten years to pay that amount in. And that particular plan guarantees all third party payments at any, at any uh, you know, date into the future. So consequently, your funeral plan will always entirely be paid for. And remember, some of those third party costs can be a bit tricky because uh, who's in control of the crematoriums? Who's in control of, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, uh, the, re the religious people, the, you know, whether it's the celebrant, the vicar or the priest? Uh, and who's in charge of the doctor's fees. So those three things are out of our control. Good old funeral director, he'll keep his price to whatever he's promised, but everybody else could, could change. So it's important to uh, ensure you've got the plan that, that suits your individual requirements.